Hi guys, Johnny B here, and today we're going to go over some pro tips about attending BTS's uh, world tour, the Love Yourself, Speak Yourself stadium tour. And I'm going to go over about my experiences at the Rose Bowl, and then hopefully it somehow relates to the other stadiums around the world. If not, leave some comments down below and maybe we can help out other ARMY fans to have to, for them to have a better experience at the concert. So with that, let's get right into it. So the very first tip I want to talk about is parking and the very, very long lines. So for us, or at least for me, I've been to the Rose Bowl before for a Taylor Swift concert. So I kind of knew when to leave my house and to head over there. Um, it takes me roughly with LA traffic, it would take me about an hour to get there. But with the long lines already starting on the freeway to get off the freeway and then into the streets to go into the Rose Bowl, already added another half hour. So luckily we left around four o'clock Actually, no, 3.30, left around 3.30, and I would say we didn't, I didn't park my car till about 5 o'clock. And then from there, we had to walk a basically, I would say, a 10-minute walk from the car to the entrance. And by the time we got to the entrance, I don't know what to say, but you can see in the video here that it's just massive lines, and there's just random lines everywhere. So at first, we saw an end of the line, and we got into it, but we didn't know where it led, because... With so many people, we just wanted to get in line first. So I had my girlfriend uh, get in line first, and while I go check out, see where the line was leading. Hopefully, that line was going to a merch line. Like we don't want to stay in line for half an hour, end up being in the merchandise line, and we had to go back out and find the real line. So after I looked around, see where the entrances were, I asked the security guards, like, "Is this a merchandise line right here, or is this the line to get into entry?" He said, "It's probably." It's most likely for the merchandise. So I asked him, well, where should I go? He looked at my ticket and saw that I sat in section 14. So he showed me on the Rose Bowl, the outside of the stadium, the numbers. Here's, here's 12, here's 13, and then here's 14 on the right side. So I went to the entrance on the right side and saw an entrance for that. So I started following the line all the way back and it went all the way back this way, looped back this way, and then back again until we figured it out. So... We got in line, and the funny thing is, it was a cloudy day and it started raining a little bit, so people were freaking out, but it stopped after like five minutes. Um, after that, waiting in line, waiting in line, almost got to about half an hour later, we got to maybe 100 feet away, and we saw one line get broken up by security saying that it's not an official line, and boy, trust me, people were so angry <laughs> because they were waiting in that line for at least half an hour already. But ended up not being an official line. So they had to leave that line, stand in another line that might take them half an hour, four or five minutes. And given the fact that the concert starts in an hour, so not only you have to get in and find your seat, but if you have to use the bathroom or anything, you're almost screwed. <laughs> you're not you're probably gonna miss the beginning of it. So my tip is if you can, get there as early as you can. Um, some people were there, they said they didn't have any problems getting there like six hours before the concert started they were able to go buy something stand in line in the merchandise line to buy something like army bombs or t-shirts and stuff like that and then they're still able to get in line and get into the stadium without any hassle my tip for that though once we got into the stadium they actually have booths to sell t-shirts and army bombs inside the stadium so you might see there's only two booths outside the stadium and there's a whole bunch of people in there but once you get inside there are shorter lines inside to get to get merchandise so if, my tip for that if you really want to buy something either get there early stand in line and buy it or get in a state get inside the stadium first find the booth there and then get merchandise there granted it's very compact so you'll have food here you have merchandise here alcohol here and there's gonna be lines everywhere so you gotta figure out which line you want to go in and bathroom lines for the women's too Guys, luckily, I was able to just walk in, walk out, but for the women, um, I saw the line like wrap around three times, so that might take a while, so prepare for that. There's also porta potties outside, but of course, nobody wants to use a porta potty, so you do what you can. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to alcohol, <laughs> by the concert started at 7.30, by around 7.15 when I was in line, I was in line for alcohol, and I got to the front, and they sold out everything already. 
So if you parents, those parents that are taking their teenage daughters or kids to see the concert, if you want some booze, <laughs> keep that in mind, prepare, prepare for that. And then speaking of merchandise, if you're going to buy an army bomb, I would highly, highly suggest you download the app um, beforehand, download it at home because with so many people there and being with so many people there, you're probably not going to have the best service to download an app. So if you need to, you know, go to whatever store and then you want to buy, you want to download that BTS official light stick app. I believe that's what it's called. So let's see. Yeah, BTS official light stick app. And that's how that is. And then they have booths to help you pair it. But I feel like it's almost the instructions inside the army bomb will be a little easy for you to follow. So you could kind of follow that and prepare that. So just remember to slide the button down for a Bluetooth connection, pair it to the concert mode, and then remember to slide it back up to the top slider, top option, because that's when it syncs up to everything else. Don't keep it on the bottom one, because the bottom one is just for syncing only. Now being in California, it's uh, around May, it's usually pretty warm. And it was kind of warm during the day, but around five o'clock, the car started getting windy already. And then once the sun dropped, it got pretty cold. So be sure to bring a jacket even a light jacket, if you get cold easy, maybe bring a thicker jacket. You'll, it'll save you some very, very cold night there. There's a part in the concert where if, you have, if you're in the floor seats, you're going to get wet because there's one, one section or maybe two sections in the concert where it's not just sprinkling little waters, but they shoot water cannons, like professional water cannons that shoot out and they went rows across the entire floor seats. So bring a light poncho maybe or bring a jacket because some people some fans were saying they got soaked okay you're not even, like this is basically almost water just getting dumped on you so prepare for that if you've never been to a bts concert before be prepared to stand a lot like even all the way up top you're up in row 64 usually in some other concerts when you're that high you know you're just kind of sitting there and stuff like that but every time they're out there to perform everyone is standing and just fan chanting dancing along and stuff like that so be prepared to stand a lot there are going to be breaks after every couple songs where they show like a little music video on the screen so you get like maybe a good two to three minutes of just sitting down chill rest your feet but after that get right back up and just have fun with everyone else so wear comfortable shoes if you need to so if you have sensitive ears i would suggest earplugs too this time around, I didn't really bring them, but the first time we had the concert in the Staples Center, I brought them because it's not so much for the loud noises, the loud, the, the, it's not so much for the speakers, the loud, the volume of the speaker, but it's mostly for uh, the screaming fans. <laughs> you know, you get a little ringing in your ear and stuff like that, and it just starts getting pretty bad. So earplugs, like it won't really mute the sound, it'll just make the volume turn down just a little bit. It won't sound too muffled if you get really good ones. I found a couple on Amazon and I was able to, you know, have them on and then still be able to hear very clearly. It just sounds like the volume was turned down to like a little bit and that turned up to 11. So keep that in mind. So at the Rose Bowl, there's a, a clear bag policy. I don't know how it is at other stadiums, but it looks like that's going to be the case for most places. Uh, clear bag policy means that if you have a purse, a regular purse that you bring in, you can't bring that no matter what size. Backpack, no matter what size, you can't bring that. So either you put stuff in a Ziploc bag or you go to a store, maybe Target, Walmart, or anywhere else that sells like a, a, clear can, a clear plastic bag where you can put your stuff in. It's just for security where they can see what's inside your bag and things like that. My girlfriend was able to bring like a small clutch that barely fits, that is basically the size of her phone. She could fit her phone or wallet in there and that's it. Um, they were allowed to bring that. Someone brought something a little larger than that and they were in front of us and they were turned away by security. So she was not happy about that. They did allow you to go to a tent where you could check in those bags that you can't bring in, but I think it costs like $10 to check it in and then you get a ticket and then you gotta go back in line. Um, to avoid all that, just either bring as little as you can or you know find a clear bag to bring stuff in. In terms of sound check or maybe even floor seats, I believe from what people have said that there's a specific booth for you to get wristbands. So before you can't even enter into that section, you have to get a wristband at a certain gate. At the Rolls Bowl, I think it was like gate E or something like that. And there weren't information about telling you that. So some people 
got or all their stuff, and then once they got to the tunnel, they are turned away because they didn't have wristbands. So then they had to walk all the way around to where the gate was to get their wristbands, and then walk back to the tunnel to get to their floor seats. So keep that in mind. Pay attention to signs. If there's no any sign, no signs or anything, be sure to just ask. And if security aren't helpful, then uh, I would try to ask other army that might have what you have, might that might have what you need, and then ask them for some help because. With so many people, it's 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 gonna be a mess. It's so it's gonna be a mess. Going back on the merchandise, um, when we left, right before the fireworks went off, so when they did their final bow is when we started leaving. Um, the merchandise lines were pretty short. I think it was like less than half of the people we saw in the beginning of the concert. So if you if you really need to buy something, maybe get out of your seats before then and get and head to those booths. And at most, you'll probably spend maybe 10, 15 minutes in line if you buy something. Only downfall about that is that they'll probably not have a lot of the stuff that you want in the beginning because it's towards the end of the concert already and most of the stuff might sell out. From what I heard, more most of the bigger sized uh, and smaller sized t-shirts and hoodies and clothing are sold out first. So keep that in mind as well. And then uh, traffic going out of Rules Bowl. I, exp I almost thought that it was going to be pretty chaotic getting out. But... At least it was the same as when I went to the Taylor Swift concert. Like, it was hard getting out of the stadium itself, just walking to so many people. But once you're able to get out into the field and to where all the parking lot is, it's pretty, pretty easy. It was dark, but there's enough light and enough people to walk around and so feel kind of safe. But it still took us about 10 minutes to walk to my car. And once we got in the car, I was able to find the exits and get right on, hop right, right on the freeway. So at that whole process, I was able to get out in like 20 minutes max. Uh, some people who waited for the fireworks until they all left and stuff, I heard that they waited in the parking lot for over an hour. So <laughs> that's something you need to keep in mind. Like, do you really want to stay in the stadium for an extra hour? Or do you, you know, just so you can see the fireworks and you know, closing uh, remarks and stuff like that? Or you want to start getting hit home? I felt like we didn't miss much. We were still able to see the fireworks as we were walking out. So. And we're still able to get home on time, so that's, that's something we we thought that out. And speaking of cell service, when there's so many people in there, and your cell phone's not working. If you came in on Uber or Lyft, um, you might have trouble trying to call for one because there's just so many people. At least at the Rose Bowl, there's a section of the parking lot for rideshare to pick people up, so that might be a good idea to look into that. Um, there's also a shuttle for the Rose Bowl where they picked up people at a certain parking lot and then uh, took them to and from the stadium. Uh, some people were saying that it was very convenient. Others were saying that the line for the shuttle itself was very long. So that's something else to keep in mind. You know, just lines and lines and lines of stuff for anything you need to do. And that's about it. I can't think of any more tips right now from the top of my head. I mean, I wrote down what I remembered and I've had my girlfriend trying to give me some tips that I might have forgotten too, but if you, if any other Army fans that attended the Rose Bowl or I know of any other tips from the other stadiums, please leave a comment below to help out each other so we all could have a good time. But with that being said, thanks for watching. Um, those of you who are going to be attending a future concert in the other cities, I hope you have fun. I hope this video helped. If not, I'll try to do better next time. But with that. Thank you for watching guys, like and comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.